So next, I want to talk about Eric Trump because he made some comments this weekend that has driven the Joe Biden campaign absolutely crazy. And it's awesome. It's like President Trump is the best at getting under people's skin like Joe Biden and his campaign. But his son, Eric Trump, he's a close second. And he just he was awesome this weekend. So he was talking to Janine Pirro. They were talking about the Democrats in some of these states that are extending lockdowns, driving people nuts. He sees it as a way to hurt the president, hurt the economy, and hurt the re-election efforts of his father. Here's Eric Trump. When you can go buy a bottle of vodka at a liquor store, but you can't go to church. You can go to Planned Parenthood and get an abortion, but you can't go to the public library to vote. You have these Democrats that come up with these names for these various bills, right? You have the, the HEROES Act. It sounds beautiful until you start discovering some of the garbage that they put in it, like every state in the country has mail-in voting. And I mean, it's really, really disingenuous. So I love it. Trump is absolutely right. Then he talked about Joe Biden all holed up in his basement and the fact that President Trump can't be out there holding rallies, doing what he does. Listen, Bi Biden loves this. Biden can't go out on stage without making some horrible blunder. I mean, even from his basement, he's making awful gaffes every single day. So his campaign's thrilled that he's not going out there. And, and then Trump got to the part that really set off the Biden campaign. They'll milk it every single day between now and November 3rd. And guess what? After November 3rd, coronavirus will magically all of a sudden go away and disappear and everybody will be able to reopen. They're trying to deprive him of, of, of his, his greatest asset, um, which is... The fact that the American people love him, the fact that he's relatable, the fact that he can go out there and draw massive crowds. Oh, yes. So when you when you claim that the lockdowns are just a Democrat ploy to hurt the economy and hurt the reelection efforts of President Trump, you know, they're going to blow a gasket. And that's exactly what happened. Here's a report. Biden's campaign called the comments careless. We're in the middle of the biggest public health emergency in a century, with almost 90,000 Americans dead, 1.5 million infected, and 36 million workers newly jobless. So for Eric Trump to claim that the coronavirus is a political hoax that will magically disappear is absolutely stunning and unbelievably reckless. The presumptive Democrat presidential nominee's communication director, Kate Bedingfield, said in a statement Sunday. Bedingfield accused Trump of ignoring the threat of the virus for months, allowing countless unnecessary deaths. That was just, that response was unbelievable because we've already seen in previous shows, White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany came back showing that the media was the one that kept downplaying coronavirus. It was no big deal. It's no worse than the flu. You don't need to change anything. Don't believe the hoax. Don't get stirred up over the hype. On and on and on. That was the media side. That was the Democrat side. Now they're trying to have it the other way. Eric Trump speaks up and they freak out. So it was just awesome. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that quick hit. But before you go, there's more. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you'll be notified. Then check out the full show that this quick hit came from. And when you're done with that, here's another video just for you. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.